January 11, Learning to Ride My Bike The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, New International Version I was six when I learned to ride my sister's big bike. I had to ride it standing up because it was too big for me. I believe it was my father who first helped me until I was able to maintain balance on my own. We live on the top of a hill. One day, I rode down the road too fast and slid in the sand and gravel on the tarmac at the bottom of the hill. The bike tipped onto his right side, and I slid several yards until it came to a standstill. I was dressed in a skirt and socks, and the whole right side of my body was grazed. My leg and arm were bleeding profusely. Ouch, that hurt! I picked up the bike and pushed it up the hill to my home. Then I went to my mother and showed her my injuries. I had tears on my cheeks, but I refused to cry out loud. Mom tried to clean up my wounds and get the dirt out. I almost felt like an Egyptian mummy with my body parts bandaged up. The next day, we were to leave for a seaside holiday. My parents were sorry for me as they thought I wouldn't be able to get into the water with my injuries. But it turned out to be a wonderful vacation. I was constantly in the water and only got out to let the scabs dry up a bit. The salty water helped heal the wounds and I only have a tiny scar left in the hollow of my knee. After the vacation, my parents gave me a bicycle of my own. It was a blue bike in my size. It was much easier to ride this bike than the big lady's bike. There are many things in life that we have to learn. Actually, all of life is a constant learning process. A few months after our birth, we learn to cry and then walk, then speak, read, and write. And this list could go on and on. How happy I was when our children learned to take their first steps. Then there were other steps I tried to help them learn, like riding a bike, swimming, getting a driving license, and graduating from school and university. Like my father helped me keep my balance, we have tried to help our children reach maturity. Now, they don't need us as much as they once did, but as their parents, we will be there for them as long as we need. God is our loving Father who wants us to learn things one step at a time. He will never leave us. He will always support and encourage us. He will teach us the things we need to know because He will never forsake us but will always be with us whatever may happen. Mm -hmm.